This is John Gallant, and I'm in the middle of a blog post series on how to create a Power BI custom visual from an existing D3 visual that you find online. I chose the liquid fill gauge visual as the perfect example. It's relatively simple. It has one data value and some configuration properties. It was originally created by Curtis Bratton, and you can find the code for the original visual by clicking on this is name down here. You can find the blog post series that brings you step-by-step -step on how to create these visuals by clicking on this link here. Now using the liquid fill gauge is pretty simple. All you have to do is click on the three dots, import a custom visual, find your custom visual, double click on it. From there, you just click on the icon and it will add it to uh, your report. You add a data value to it like so, and it will render the visual. You click on the visual, you will see custom format properties here for the text, the circle, and the wave. Expand text, and you can see that you can change the text colors. You can change the wave text color and some other values. And the same thing for circle and wave. This visual has all the default settings applied. This one has a max value of 200, so it'll go from 0 to 200 and it's currently at 55. I decided here to take the percent sign off and how I did that was here I said text max value of 200 and turn the percent off. You can toggle that on and off like that. For this visual I changed the text color to a light gray as you can see here at the top of the 55 and the wave text color to a white. I increased the font size here to a 1.5 and I turned off count up with it off, it just displays the number, and with it on, it will count up. I changed the wave color to this dark blue and a circle color to this red. For this last visual, I set the text color and the wave text color to a light gray. I increased the text size to a 1.4, and I set the vertical position to 0.7. So what that does is it brings it up and down from the center. 0.5 is right in the center, and 0.7 is a little bit above the center. I then went down to the wave section and changed the color to a blue. I changed the height to a 0.2. As you can see here, the wave is a bit deeper than over here. Uh, I then changed the count to two, so that'll give me two waves per iteration. And then I changed the rise time from 1500 to 3000. So as you can see here, if it was 1500, it would go that fast. If it's 3,000, it takes its time getting up there. I then went over to circle, changed the color here, and that's this outer rim, to a dark gray. I changed the thickness to a 0.15, and then I changed the fill gap from 0.05 to 0.09. You can download this sample PBIX file from the visuals gallery, so visuals.powerbi.com. And feel free to email me at bit.ly slash email john or you can go to github and file a question or an issue there 